Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shuruk TV. Today's stories include Foreign Ministry clarifies request for UN assistance under Chapter 6. Transitional government emphasizes the ability to fulfill all peace obligations. Sudan records new cases of COVID-19, says Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued a press statement describing the conversations in the media on the mechanisms that will follow the UNAMID and the requests of the Sudanese government for the help of the United Nations under the sixth chapter to build peace and promote stability as conversations with unfounded information and include accusations and suspicions on patriotism and lack the support of any evidence. The Foreign Ministry has indicated in the statement that most of these conversations are mere and confused lies, affirming that the Sudan's permanent mission to the United Nations in New York, backed by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, has been making every effort for the promotion of the Sudan and its people, and will continue to preserve its vital interests, its territorial integrity, and will not allow interference in its internal affairs. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres recommended the extension of the mandate of the UN Interim Security Force for ABA, UNISFA, for a period of six months until uh, October 2020, praising the positive steps made both in Khartoum and in Juba from October 2019 till April 2020. In a report issued over the situation in ABA, Guter said, I am optimistic that peace dividends from the intransitions in both countries, as well as interaction between the two, will have a positive impact on peace and development. However, these developments have also highlighted the need to ensure that the mechanisms established in 2012 in the cooperation agreements are fully implemented. The UN chief said, I call on both parties to renew efforts to address the issues that have remained unresolved for too long, including the implementation of their agreement of 20 of June 2011. The member of the Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Shamsuddin Kabashi, the member of the government delegation to the peace negotiations, discussed in his office in the Republican Palace with the head of the African Union office in Khartoum, Ambassador Mohamed Balaish, the issues facing the country in general. The meeting also discussed in the presence of the State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Omar Gamaraddin, the outcomes, the stages and the progress of the comprehensive peace in particular and the relationship between the Sudan and the United Nations after the exit of the UNAMID forces, alongside the Sudan's view on the upcoming political mission on the basis of Chapter 6. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Asma Mohammed Abdullah, received the phone call from the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, Armas Renzalo. The Foreign Minister has extended thanks to her Estonian counterpart for his kind invitation to participate in the conference to be held via video conference. The phone call has discussed details of the upcoming visit of the Estonian Foreign Minister of, uh, to the country, which was scheduled for this April and were postponed due to the corona pandemic and was agreed to be carried as soon as the pandemic ended. The chairman of the Transitional Sovereign Council and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, received a congratulatory message on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan from His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed expressed in the message his sincere congratulations and best wishes on the event of the month of Ramadan, praying for the Sudan and the peoples of the Arab and Islamic nations, good blessings. Preparatory Committee for the National Economic Conference has announced the postponement of the conference that was scheduled to be held on the 2nd of June, with another date to be set for the conference after the country surpasses the corona pandemic. According to that, the preparatory committee decided the postponement of holding of the sectoral workshops that were scheduled to start on the 1st of May. 
The Deputy Chairman of the Preparatory Committee for the National Economic Conference, Dr. Adam Hereka, stressed that postponement of the conference for an indefinite period does not mean the stopping of the preparatory work for the main conference, the sectoral workshops, preparing papers and holding meetings through the Internet. The Sudan Federal Ministry of Health has declared yesterday 57 cases of COVID-19, bringing the total to 375, 28 deaths, uh, 32 recoveries. New cases reported as follow. Khartoum, 55 cases. Jazeera, 2 cases, as 2 deaths reported and 1 in Sinar State. The total of confirmed cases in all states are uh, Khartoum, 344, Jazeera, 19, Ghadari, 3, River Nile 3 and states of White Nile, Central Darfur, East Darfur, Red Sea and Sinar and West Kordofan have recorded one state each, bringing the total of affected states to 10 nationwide. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamadok, on basis of the provisions of the constitutional document organizing the transitional period and the transitional cabinet resolution number 70 of 2019, and the decision of the committee to eliminate empowerment, fight corruption and recover funds number 124 of 2020, and on the basis of the recommendation of the Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research, issued a decision to relieve Hamza Ibrahim Hamza from his position as Secretary General of the National Student Welfare Fund. And here we remind you with the headlines. Foreign Ministry clarifies request for UN assistance under Chapter 6. Transitional government emphasizes the ability to fulfill all peace obligations. Sudan records cases of COVID-19, says the Ministry of Health. Thank you for watching and see you next time.